Greetings, Productive Programmer, an AI chatbot in your terminal. Check this out. AI, write a Python version of bubble sort. And there you have it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up your own AI chatbot in your own terminal in just a few short seconds. And you can ask this anything that you want. AI, create me a page in Bootstrap with a header and three content cards below it. The AI is researching. And there you have it. Wait, you mean all these years I've been typing and copying and pasting bootstrap code and I could just have an AI literally just make the website for me? This is unbelievable. Check this out. Artificial intelligence just went ahead and created a bootstrap website for me. It provided me with all the code and all I had to do was ask it. So first I want to get you guys set up so you can actually use this yourself. And then from there, we'll take a look at how this is actually working. I'm going to show you how to get set up with an AI chatbot in your terminal in less than 60 seconds. So all you have to do to set this up is do a git clone for productive programmer forward slash AI chatbot.git. I'll leave that link in the description below. Next step, we're going to just change directory into our chatbot. Then we're going to do an NPM install. And then once we have this set up, all we need to do is we just need to set up a session token because this chatbot is actually going to use open AI and I'll leave that link in the description below as well. And then you'll go into sign up and you'll create an account. Now, after you've created your account, what you're going to do is you're going to log into the chat. So once you come to chat.openai.com forward slash chat, you're just going to right click, do inspect. Now you need to open up your dev tools here, come into your application. In here, you'll have an underscore underscore secure dash next dash auth dot session dash token. This is what you're looking for. There will be a value in here. This is going to be your session token. I've gone ahead and replaced mine as one, two, three, four, five. This is something that you want to keep secret. You don't want to share this with somebody else. So that's why I've just replaced mine. But whatever you have in here, you're going to copy that value. And then you'll come back over to your terminal. And then you can do export session underscore token equals. And then inside quotes, you'll just go ahead and paste that value that we just copied. And then you'll hit enter. And then to run this, you can do npx space tsx space source forward slash demo dot ts hit enter that'll actually drop you into a terminal where you can then ask the ai overlords what your questions are so here you can just ask something like what are the best programming languages and it'll return back an answer and by the way you can ask this anything that you want and you'll get a response this is artificial intelligence actually answering your question Okay, so you've just got set up with an AI chatbot in your terminal in less than 60 seconds, but what's going on behind the scenes? How does this work? So this chatbot makes use of the chat GPT API. And so what I did is I just basically converted their demo into something that you can use on the command line. So that way you can actually keep asking it questions. So here's my code here. So what you can see is I basically just modified their example. Uh, so this ask AI is very similar to the demo that they give, but then I had went ahead and I just changed it so that it could actually accept command line prompts. That way you can keep asking it questions. But the way that this works, the unofficial library that actually allows you to connect with the chat GPT application here. So on chat.openai.com, you can access this chatbot and you can ask it all sorts of questions. They give you some other examples such as explain quantum computing in simple terms. So this is a chatbot that we have here and you can see that it answers us. So our solution just takes that power and puts it into the terminal here. So that way we can ask it anything we want. And if you take a look at the code solution that we have, it is very possible to just take this and you could actually use this code in a website or any other application that you want using Node.js. So this is a really cool and really powerful artificial intelligence chatbot. So OpenAI has trained a model called ChatGPT that actually interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue formats makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, and challenge incorrect premises and reject inappropriate requests. This is a really cool project to check out because it's currently in the research stage. So it's free while it's in the research stage and you can play with it on chat.openai.com. Of course, I think it's more fun to actually have this in your terminal. And what's cool about this being in the terminal is that you can actually run a command like alias and I gave mine the AI and I set it to NPX. So the command that we'd used before to run this. So I actually aliased it. So that way when I want to ask it a question, I can just type AI space and I can ask it anything I want. So I'll ask it, yes, can you write me an HTML page? And I have a simple web page generated for me. So you can see we saw it generate bootstrap before we saw it generate a simple web page here. You can ask us some interesting questions and I'll actually go ahead and it'll comprise it. It was able to give us a Python bubble sort. So I'm interested to see where this technology goes.
And you have to consider this is just the beta phase and they're still researching it. So it's gonna be interesting. I think this is gonna be a very powerful chat AI. And here are just some of the solutions that are already using it. A Twitter bot was created so that you can actually ask questions to it on Twitter. There's been several chat GPT Chrome extensions that have been created so that you can interact with it in your Chrome. A VS Code app has been created for it as well. A Telegram bot has been created for it and several other solutions including Discord, WeChat, and a Flutter chat bot as well. So you can do a lot of things with this and you can utilize this in your projects. And so there's a lot of possibilities for you to leverage this new chat bot. And it seems like this is the trending topic right now, chat GPT. So this is a very powerful technology that's come out of OpenAI. Check out how crazy this sample is by OpenAI. So a user is actually saying, hey, my code's not working, how do I fix it? They paste the sample of their code. The chat GPT actually says, I'm not 100% sure, can you provide more information? It asks for more information. The user provides more information and the chat bot comes back and it actually ends up suggesting how to fix the problem and it shows the missing code that the user is missing. This is really wild. So I don't know, should we have to worry about AI replacing our jobs now if they can figure out the code for us? Can you imagine asking an AI chatbot how to fix your code as opposed to asking another developer that you work with? That's pretty wild. And of course you don't have to subscribe, but if you do it, we'll notify you whenever I launch similar content to this. So if you're enjoying it, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button, appreciate it.